So in this video, I'm going to show you another way of creating or finding interesting shapes to use in your assignments. So for week one, we're restricted to using one shape only. And of course, you don't want that to be an ordinary circle, square, or you know, one of these tools from the, um, the shapes from the Illustrator presets. But you can make your own super interesting shape. So I'm going to show you uh, another way of doing that. I've already provided one video on uh, how to create rhubars and key keys. But this time, I'm going to show you how you can do that using the blend tool. So you might start with um, a fairly ordinary shape, maybe a rectangle. And you might end with something a bit more interesting, let's say um, a star shape. And I'm going to give it 12 points and um, just make it a little bit unusual. Uh, maybe make it a little bit bigger. And then I'm just going to create a blend between these two. So object, blend, blend options, and let's say five, oh no, let's say six, six steps, and then object, blend, make. And now we're starting to find some interesting shapes here. But you'll notice that at first, uh, you can't um, pick out one shape. So you need to go object, blend, uh, expand, and that will release the shapes but they're still grouped together. So then you need to go object ungroup and then you'll find that you can click on any one of these and remove them to start working on them for your final design. And uh, you can see here that we're getting some interesting shapes there. Now uh, you can also, I'm just going to delete all of this. You can also do the blend with your um, BB, oh, sorry, uh, Kiki or Booba shapes. So let's say we start with that star shape again, but this time we'll end with a booba shape. So I'll just draw one. And I'll give it the same color that I have here. And I might just do three steps here. So I'll go true make. And now we're getting something really interesting. So uh, once again, I'm just going to go object blend expand, object ungroup, and then I can use my select tool to pick out any one of these shapes. Now I think this is a really fabulous shape and it's not something that I would think of creating myself. So um, that's a really great, uh, a great one there. And I think I, you know, that's something that I would use in a design for sure. Uh, let's try another one though. Why not start with a uh, ellipse, maybe something like that. And let's end up with a key key this time. So I'm just going to use my pen tool to quickly oops, create a pointed key key shape that's not as regular as a star. Has, um, you know very pointed edges there and now once again I think just three steps will be fine so I can just go blend make and yes once again we're getting some really terrific options here so I just need to go object blend expand and object ungroup and I can use my select tool and you know pick out the ones that are really interesting to me and I think these two are really interesting. So then I can just go ahead and um, here is my uh, artboard and I can delete the shapes that I don't want to use and then um, go ahead and start designing my design using this particular shape. Um, yeah, so I hope that was helpful.